Awo, Shalom, Shalom Rastafari. So now, let us continue. We're, we're still continuing with the Komach um, Chual and the Nitz Abim. Komach Chual, Bamarinya, and Nitz Abim. And Nitz Abim. Now, what is very important for us to understand about this particular um, um, Torah Torah portion. Now, in the standard Reform prayer book of Reform Judaism for the High Holy Days, which are called the the Machzor, parts of the Parsha, parts of this um, Torah or Orita Kufel, this particular portion, namely Deuteronomy chapter 29, verses 9 to 14, and Deuteronomy chapter 30, verses 11 to 20, are the Torah readings for the morning Yom Kippur service. In other words, the portions that are contained in this week's um, Torah portion readings, Nittabim, Yovazan, combined also with the following one. Um, th- this is in the different sort of years, as we explained in the last part of, of the first part of this series, this video right here. This is the second part. So if you're watching this now, check out the first part. We had to end that abruptly because one of the devices was making, um, electronic device was making some noise. So we had to just take care of that. Now, this is after the Shabbat right now. And what we're doing is actually preparing for the Yom Kippur and going over some of the related Torah portions and other information and presenting this to the brothers and sisters and the disciples who are studying with us. So. In the Reform Judaism, in, Juda- in Reform Judaism prayer book for the High Holy Days or the, or the Machazor, parts of the Parsha, this particular Torah portion reading, Deuteronomy chapter 29 verses 9 to 14 and Deuteronomy chapter 30 verses 11 to 20 are the Torah readings for the morning, the Shacharit, you understand, the morning.